Hello everyone. In today's video, we're going to be looking at how we can set up fully functional immersive shops in Foundry. We're going to start off today with the player's view, and we're going to interact with this merchant. When we do, we see a chat bubble pop up, as well as their shop. Now with the shop, we can buy from it as well as sell. I want to buy the bullseye lantern. We see it has disappeared because there was only a quantity of one. And if we go into our inventory, it has appeared right there and the correct amount of gold has been deducted. If my player wanted to sell an item, it would simply just have to take the item from their character sheet and drag it onto the journal entry for the shop. And then they'll see this prompt open up. Then you select yes and we see the item has been removed and the correct amount of gold has been allocated to the character. All of the key models we're using today that are required for the setup come from Iron Monk. They are Monk's Shops, Monk's Enhanced Journal, and Monk's Active Tile Triggers. We are also using Arius Planewalker's Stylus Journal for Monk's Enhanced Journal, just because I like the way it looks. After you've installed the Monk's Shops module, you'll see some new compendiums of journal entries, as well as roll tables. These journal entries are shops that are ready to go as is, the roll tables can be used to make your own shops, which we'll be talking about very soon. But for now, let's go ahead and import one of these shops into our game. Let's go ahead and use the tailor as an example. If we now take a look at our journals tab, we'll see that the tailor has been imported to our game, and it is of the type shop, which is a new option when we create a journal entry. Let's go ahead and open that up right now. You can see all the items that are available. It does not have a description, which we could easily add in as well as we could change anything else here that we wanted to. Some things we can change in the shop include changing the quantity of an item, changing the price, or even just changing how transactions are done, such as changing whether the shop is closed, visible but closed, if it's open but only to the GM, if it's open and anyone can buy it for the price listed, and they receive the item right away, as we saw earlier, or if they need to request a purchase, which means after they try to buy something, the GM can either approve or deny that purchase. You also have options for selling, such as won't purchase from the players, anyone can sell anything for the value it has, or an offer needs to be made. Let's take a look at how that appears to the GM. Here my player is attempting two transactions. They're attempting to buy some silk and sell a bullseye lantern. I can choose as the GM to either accept these offers or reject them. I will go ahead and accept and reject. You can also adjust all of the prices simultaneously right here, adjusting both the buy and sell price. And if you are using the stylish journal module, you can add in some neat things such as a color theme, changing the view of the whole shop. With the shop prep out of the way, we would be ready to go if we wanted. However, for the setup I used earlier, I only have the shop available when the player is near the merchant. To achieve this, we use Monk's Active Tiles. The first thing you need to do is put down a tile. It really doesn't matter what it is because for our setup, we aren't going to have it visible to the player. And with that tile, we're going to place it underneath the token we have representing the merchant. As you might notice, I've also placed some around as well. This is not really necessary. I'm just using it to automatically adjust the permissions for the shop so that I don't have to manually do it. Now select the tile you place underneath the merchant. Go to Triggers, Setup, set the tile to Active. Make sure that it is activated by double click. Or if you want to do something special like entering into a building, that's also okay. You want to set it to 100% chance to trigger. And then all of this is okay for the setup process. Next, we're going to go to Actions. Underneath Actions, you're going to add some actions in so the tile actually does something when it's activated. I've already added in some, but let's go ahead and edit them to see what I did. The first one I have is Change Permissions of Tailor to Observer for Triggering Player. So we go in, select Change Permissions, select the entity. You can do that by clicking this icon here, going to your Journals tab, and selecting Tailor and only the triggering player and observer and update. We're finished with the first one. The next one is I have a chat message for everyone. So the token is going to speak when this is all activated. We can do that by going to edit, select chat message, type in whatever you want. Again, select an entity, 
You will need to go to the Tokens tab to select the commoner, or whatever the token is, and who it is going to be visible to, and if it's in character, and if there's a chat bubble, and update. And lastly, you'll want to actually have an action that will open up the shop. So we have here, Edit Action, Open a Journal, again, select Entity, select the same shop, show to Trigger Player, use Monk's Enhanced Journal. I do believe it'll use it by default, but still, and check permission. Now, if you want to, you can uncheck this box and completely ignore all the permission settings. The only advantage really to having this box checked is the player, while standing here, can access the shop in the journals tab without having to click and activate the tile again. The final tile triggers I have in place are the ones that are surrounding the merchant and they are set up as such. When the player moves past it, when they exit the tile, it is going to change the permissions of the journal entry to default, meaning the player will lose access to that journal entry and losing access to the shop. We'll finish off today's video with how you can easily populate a shop using a roll table. We'll be using the tables that were provided with the Monk Shop module. First, we need to import the table of our choice. Import the weapons roll table. Close it out. Go to journal entry. Create a new journal entry. Select shop. Give it a name. And you can put it into a folder if you so desire. We can see it here. Now we're going to go to items. Populate with roll table. Select the roll table of your choice underneath roll tables. Select the number of items. I'm going to select 15. Increase quantity and select yes. And there we are. Well, that'll be it for today's video. I hope that this has given you some ideas on how you can use shops in your own game, as well as how you can have a little bit of fun with Monk's Tile Triggers. Thanks everyone for listening, and have a good day.